Hey everyone, welcome back, I'm Jason. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick how to use one alarm wire to control two different devices. For an example, you could have a glass sensor in zone one and a motion in zone two with one alarm wire. Okay, so I was actually kind of surprised that not too many people know how to set this up. So I thought I'll make a video and show you guys how to do it. So yes, you can use one alarm wire to control two different devices. It could be a door contact. It could be either two power devices on two separate zones. So like I said, so an example, you could have a glass sensor in zone one, a door in zone two. This way you don't have to join them together. So in order to do this is, so let's say this is the wire coming from my alarm panel. So you got your red, black, yellow, green. Red, black is your power. So right over here, I'm gonna use, so these two are pretty much exactly the same. I'm gonna use the motion for this example or you can use the glass in your case if you need it. But I'm gonna use the motion just so I can show you how to wire it up. So right here we got negative, positive, normally closed and common. These three here, we really don't use. If you do, you can still use it. It doesn't matter in the way we're gonna wire it up. So I'm gonna open this up. Move this aside. So right now I'm gonna show you how to connect the contact and the motion in one wire. So what we're gonna do is, in this case, here's the contact. Contact only needs two wires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of these two. So this is my bus line. So this is the line from the panel. You're gonna take the black and one of the contact wires. I like using the green. You're gonna twist them together. Okay, I'm gonna grab my screwdriver. And I know the first one here is the negative. Next one is the positive. Now this part here, don't forget, this is the wire coming from my alarm panel. So you're gonna choose one of the other. So you're either gonna use the yellow or use the green to, to control this motion. I'm gonna use the green, put it in my normally close. Okay, so this one once again, this wire is from my alarm panel. This one here is from the contact. I'm gonna twist these two together. And over here, we're gonna cap it. So that means this contact is done. And now what we're gonna do over here is, now we're gonna put a little jumper from the common back to the black. Let me just get a little jumper. So I got a little jumper here. Like I said, this is the common. So once you're all done, this is what it's gonna look like. So 
So you got three wires in the black, red. I have mine the green in the normally close. And I got the jumper from the common back to the black. Negative, positive, normally close, and common. The other wire went to the door contact or window contact. Once again, this one here, just be connected. And that's how you connect a door or window contact with a power device. Now, I'm going to set this up to show you how to do two powered devices off one wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the glass sensor now. Okay, so now we have two powered devices. I already connected this one normally. So here I got my positive, negative, normally close, and common wire. Once again, this is the wire coming from the alarm panel. So the way this one's going to work now is put these two aside. We're going to connect the two reds together. I know that the second here is positive. The negative, same thing, two blacks go together. This is my negative. And we're also going to put the common wire that's going from the glass sensor to the black, to negative. Because common really is, it's just a negative. And we're also going to connect our little jumper. To the black wire as well. So now you're going to have four wires all together with the black coming from the alarm panel. Secure that. So here's our wire from the alarm panel. The yellow. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to connect it to the yellow here. Now we're going to B connect that. So the yellow will be our glass sensor. Now we have the green. The green goes into the normally close, which is the third terminal screw. And then we have the common, which we're going to use the jumper. And there we have it. So now we have the one wire controlling two devices with two different zones. Once again, so we have four wires on the negative, which is the black wire. We got two wires on the positive, which is the red wire. Normally close, we just put the green and common which loops back to the negative. And this sensor here, we just wired up normally. Okay, so now let's go to the alarm panel and I'll show you how to connect the wires there. Okay, so here at the alarm panel, here's our wires that we just set up on the two devices. So we do have two power devices. So what I'm gonna do is connect Positive and negative. Then, guys, keep in mind this works on any type of panel. Right now I do have the DSC in front of me, but it's pretty much all exactly the same. So now, usually you use one of these wires for the common. So right now we're going to ignore the common. So I'm going to connect the green to zone 1 which was the motion and the yellow to zone two.
there you guys have it. We don't need the common because we connected it already directly to the ground. So guys, that's how you connect two devices using a single wire. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions, please give me a comment below. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.